Okay, thank you for tuning in. Alright, process video, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. What am I going to talk about? What's How is my process doing lately? Uh, you know, still um, at the point of self-correcting uh, my whole scene, you know. It's always uh, in self-corrective mode for me. Uh, not falling into previous patterns of, uh, you know, self-dishonesty and self-deception. It's going to take a while to get through it, and I know, so I'm just being patient and taking it one moment at a time, one breath at a time, one day at a time, uh, and not uh, judge myself for being, uh, you know, ineffective or weak. I just, you know... Right now, my days are pretty stable because I'm, you know, pretty focused on you know, work and doesn't really, I don't really have a whole lot of uh, extracurricular activities. Um, I would really do, I would like to get uh, more aware of my moods and, uh, well not moods, what would it be, um, just my inner reality, you know, like to get in touch with that more, so, um, working on that, how do I do that, be, uh, remaining self-honest and, uh, just <clears throat> checking myself for reactions and listening to what I say, listening to what other people are saying, and not going into some sort of, uh, you know, mental picture of reality. Because we tend to do that. We tend to form these conceptual bubbles that we um, sort of pretend are real. Uh, these bubbles, these conceptual bubbles are like... Um, You're walking around with a fishbowl on your head. And this fishbowl is filled with all your ideas, perceptions, your opinions. And, uh, you know, for a long time I thought my opinions and the way I looked at the world was the right way. And everybody else who didn't agree with me was full of crap, you know. <clears throat> so I'm trying... Uh, not to let that overrule my <clears throat> my own process because you know I know that uh, as a, a mind existing inside a body of flesh and blood uh, there's a uh, separation between what is the reality of the mind and what is the reality of the physical and uh, according to a lot of accepted uh, opinion and thought, they're one and the same. Uh, even though you have some philosophies that say uh, the mind is uh, what is real and the physical isn't. But uh, you can always see that when something perishes, the mind doesn't hang around Earth, it seems to uh, evaporate while the physical just changes from a form of matter into another form of matter. But um, we want to believe that the mind is super, you know, uh, has contains properties that are more valuable or more permanent than the physical reality, which no, it doesn't seem to make sense to me, so. Just a little uh, philosophy, philosophy for you. And uh, who doesn't need philosophy? You really don't actually need it, so. Hard enough without being carried away by thoughts and beliefs and opinions that we happen to consider, that we happen to consider uh, being true because 
they are our opinions and perspectives. Right.